This is YBR with Alpha Prime. We're gonna do a new game on normal, and this has a long intro, which I'm just gonna let roll. In those rocks, you see? Inside, in the mound of frozen rocks, creature lives there. A real creature, big Glomar. Glomar the greatest. Shut up, Freddy. What an alien being. A barium. That's his bones. His veins. It's blood. And your brain is addled again, eh? Glomar, they say? Ah, oh, that's something I'd like to see. You've no right to rip the meat off the body. You've no right to take away... Become a prospector. The future belongs to Habardium. Habardium, the raw material for manufacturing positron brains, the gateway to progress. Our mining company offers employee perks, regular pay, interesting work in space. Glomar lives. Glomar lives. Relax, Fred. You're hitting the sauce too much. Habardium is an element, a mineral. Don't you get it? It's not. It doesn't live, Freddy. It's not living. Try once again to believe in chemistry for a minute. And don't puke on my boots. I'm not drunk. I'm just stupid swine. They don't give a shit where they get Habardium from. It's just a way of making money to you. Oh, you are stupid swines! All of you! Hey, hey, what about you, buddy? Do you believe in Glomar? Yeah. Do you believe in Glomar's heart? I got bad news for you, Freddy. If Glomar exists, he doesn't give a shit about us. I held Hubardium in my hands. Hubardium, the most valuable and treacherous thing in the universe. Regardless of whether it's Glomar's bones or just rocks, I've seen guys go nuts over it. Craziness passed me by. Didn't affect me. The only thing I've been unlucky with is women. Well, well, well. What a waste of alcohol. How much more do you have to drink, Arnie, before you realize that you still won't get drunk? Your brain is resistant to Hobardium. There's no point in trying to get boozed up. Livia, you're here. Yeah. I was just wondering what you were doing these days. And I wanted to see you once more. Sure. To remember the old days, right? To cry on my shoulder? That's what always turned me on about you the most, babe. Your endless cheek. Arnie, I'm sorry about the way it ended between us. Really, I am. I know that I hurt you. That I said all sorts of terrible things to you, but... What awful things? That I was selfish and had no heart? It helps not to have a heart. At least nobody will ever break it. Glomar might be jealous of me. Glomar? Oh, there's that stupid prospector's talk again. But you know, if you by some chance had a heart, you think I could be the one to break it? What the hell are you playing at? Let me guess. Warren disappointed you. And you gave him the boot because you love me and me alone. Yeah. Ah, cut the crap, Livia. A man won't let himself be fooled twice. But I didn't break up with Warren. Then what? He got rid of you? Not at all. We're always together. I even told him that we should get married and... Way to go. Maybe I should be your bridesmaid. You know I wouldn't take the risk if I was in your place, Livia. What if I was to break his face by mistake? Oh, don't be horrible, Arnie. After all, you guys were friends, you know, buddies. The two best prospectors the company ever had. I've always been sorry that I, unfortunately, came between you two. Spare me, Livia. If you want to go stir someone's heart, go and give poetry readings at an old folks' home. I've already stirred yours. It still eats you up, Arnie. Admit it. You still care about me. Because if it was all the same to you, you wouldn't be sitting here. You wouldn't be trying to get drunk, even though you are hopeless at it. Don't flatter yourself, honey. You're not just here for the sake of it. 
You've never done anything without a reason. I gather it's probably not a wedding invitation, but I know you want something from me. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're so damn clever, Arnie. You always catch me out when I try it on with sentiment. But now I'm so desperate that I'll do anything. Okay, yes, you're right. I want something from you. You're my last hope. Arnold, Warren is in a terrible jam. It may cost him his life. And you're the only person in the world who can get him out of it. Warren stayed on Alpha Prime. The company opened a new Habardium mine there. It seemed there was a huge deposit. The radiation was very strong. Maybe... Maybe too strong. Something happened there. And that's the intro. Uh, to give some information about the game, it came out in 2007, I believe, by Black Element Software, who's from the Czech Republic, I think, actually, which is kind of neat. Uh, fact check me on these because what I'm saying, because this is all based off my terrible memory. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think they were acquired by the people who make Arma, whoever they are, like Bohemia or Bohemian or something like that. I don't know for sure. Terry? John? They're dead. God damn it, what happened here? The personnel locator has been activated. One living person on the entire ship, besides me. Let it be Lydia. Please, God, let it be her. The session will be remembered in a few minutes. Alright, so here we are. To run, use this key. You can pick things up as well. And then you have to open the door. Doesn't work, so you have to crouch under it. Then you can run again. Let all that stuff fall and jump. God damn it, what sort of bullshit is this? We all know that the company doesn't give a damn about prospectors. I didn't count on them helping Warren. But if someone here obviously laid mines... They tried to cut Alpha off. Get rid of witnesses. Maybe they'll destroy it completely. It's great that we've got tickets for seats in the front row. Arnie, come for me. I'm on the bridge. We must get down there. We have to... Before... Alright, so there you go. There's some more story going on. But just get to the bridge, that thing's falling apart. So I'm gonna be the good citizen and try to repair it. And I did my best. Picked up a hammer. God damn it. Lydia! Lydia! Arnold, I'm right here behind the doors. I can't do anything with it, it won't budge an inch. You're a hacker, god damn it. You can't unlock one stupid door. I won't smash this with an axe, honey. I'm working on it, Arnie, but it's a special security safeguard. Listen to me. I can handle this, but you can't wait for me. Warren and maybe others are in the passageway. Their chances get worse by the hour. You have to go down there, to Alpha. I won't leave you here. It's for my sake that you have to go, Arnie. Artemis's engine is destroyed, but there is another ship down there which is operational. We can get away in that. Lydia. Time is running out on us. The company is definitely monitoring the surroundings. If somebody comes here... They'll surely prize us out of this ship like an oyster from a shell. I'm activating the landing module. I'll keep in contact with you. Go! Alright, so you have to go. Back out the way you can. And through this door. And let me quick save real quick. Because I want to see if I can do a glitch I did last time. I did it wrong. If I catch that and put it right back in really fast, it might it glitch the game the first time. Ah. There's a Wait, I might have did it. I guess. Yeah, see, it's saying connect the circuit piece, which is that thing, which is already connected. But you can still advance through it like the generator is plugged in. 
Just a small little glitch I felt like showing off. So uh, we're going to do this level plus another, I think. It depends how long this level takes. There's some security camera doing some security camera shit, you know. There's a fireball, which is you. I mean, you crashed right conveniently next to an entrance on Alpha Prime. Couldn't have got a luckier positioning. Alright, so you have to use oxygen dispensers to stay alive, which is a neat little feature, I think. You don't see it much past this, at least in the first two levels. And it's just like, oh, look at this. Um, but you really don't use it because it's like you could look around here, look at all the things, hit things. But really, there's there's nowhere you can really go. You can look over here, but there's nothing there. I mean, we'll go ahead and do it anyways. You can push stuff. I think this is running like some special game engine I've never heard of too. But it works good. It works good. Alt tabs good. All all the small minor things runs good on the computer that I'm using, you know, doesn't have support for mouse 4 and 5, I think, which kind of sucks. But, since you really don't have any choice of where to go, well, I guess you could, like, oh, let's explore over here, too. I mean, there's lots of areas you can explore, but there's nothing in any of them, really. It's like, oh, oh okay, there's steam that'll hurt you. Well, that's just great. I'm already low health because I fell from space. Oh well. Alright, so you can get in here. And once you get through there. Or, yeah, so there, okay. Now I don't have to worry about oxygen. And you don't see it come back again in the, fr the next two levels at least. Right, so here's the weapon I picked up. You can zoom it in a bit. Here's a person. He attacks you, so you. Just, you kill him. What the does to a person, or should That's I say, former person? That's a bardium. You can pick up some ammo on that and open it. Opening. Go and do a quick save because I am low on health. Oh wait, there's a machine here. There we go. I can't remember if you can shoot through this. You could. So you can actually just sneak by them. And they'll never know you were here. Look at that. You could have shot them through there too, of course, but... Sneaking is more fun. Go I actually didn't do that the first time, so I don't know what'll happen. This is a different guy. Ah, he saw me. Yes, I like using the hammer thing it's just fun because you could hit shoot it as fast as you could click basically so like it's just fun they made it fun and so here we gotta do a jump there we are nice and easy some stuff over here and look at that empty uh stabbing th uh like a syringe thing Stabbing syringes. You can go up here to look around. There's nothing here. Or over there, really, besides what I picked up already. I picked up everything valuable already because I planned ahead. You can go in here. Again, nothing valuable, really. So you better up just to move on. And as you can see, there are people right there. If you want to, you shoot them like this. And if you're crazy enough, you could try to jump through there. I didn't try this ever before, but I want to now. Dang it. 
Alright. That didn't work at all. Lost a little health falling. Alright, oh well. It's all good. I had to try it once. When I try it twice is when I, I'm stupid, you know. So uh, let's try it again. Oh, ooh, I lost more health. All right, let's just reload. All right, I don't think I did say recent, right? Huh. Oh, there we go. It took a little longer than uh, usual on that load, which was strange. All right, let's go in here, and uh, if you heard somebody had a different weapon, which was a shotgun. I like shotguns. They're very useful. Alright, so you can also just like say what's over here. There's a door. A door. Neither of which open. So you're back into here. And there's a door. Also doesn't open. But look at this! A ventilation system. You also have a flashlight, but I forget what key I bound it to. Alright, so you take this off. And here we are. So, circuit powering the lift is my new thing. There we go. Because one battery is not enough for this, uh, the lift. Also, in here... I've located you. I'm about to do it, honey. The only thing is I didn't bring enough straitjackets for all those Hobartium nutters. You open those up. None of them have anything this time. Can't remember which ones have stuff and which ones don't. None of these ones did. So you can go in the elevator. Or you could go over here and say, I want this door open. You can't open it. But if you look, that's where I was shooting those people at. Go up the lift. Go and uh, pull out my gun. Reload it too. And then... Okay, they're both down. Go ahead and pick up their drops. Do another uh, save. And then move out. Some more people there. They're fighting these these uh, other guys, as you could tell. I'll let them just fight their fight out. He doesn't realize I'm here. I, I want to see how close I could get before he does anything. Like if I stand. Oh god. That's how close you can stand. Alright, so now we gotta kill who they were shooting at. Get the shotgun out for this guy. There we go. Get through here. Come on, there we are. Alright, go ahead and pick up all the stuff around here. There's a couple health kits. Some new weapons, the Gatling LE. Most common weapon I've seen so far, really. And you got some basketballs, so you could try to, uh, you know. <laughs> you could throw them, you know, you have like a power bar. How hard you throw? This is gonna be way too hard. I won't even bother. And then, you know, just... You can fuck around. Like I usually do. Come on, we're gonna get one in. I got one in when I was playing around before. We're gonna get one in. And we're gonna try to, at least. Alright, it's the easy kind of layup shot, almost. Too easy. Damn it! There we go. Alright, now let's move on. Cigarettes, good names. I would I would smoke Black Death definitely. I don't smoke, but if it was called Black Death, I just might. All right, so here, a lot of doors you can't go through. Here's the one you can. Again, some more lockers. This is the ones that have stuff actually. Well, it has one thing. Ah, refined Harbidi Harbidium or whatever the hell it's called. You heard them say it. Nothing else has anything, though they're all empty. So where do you go? Yeah. 
There's another one right there. Uh, I'll show off what that stuff is for in a bit. For now, let's uh, let's say hi to this guy. Alright, let's see if I can do something stupid. Okay, I got really hurt there, trying to do something stupid. I was trying just to throw that at him and then melee him to death. If I backtrack a little bit, though, there was a health kit left I could grab. So it'll be okay. There we are. Alright, so now let's uh, let's actually go where you're supposed to go. You can move those around. They jiggle. Everything's really... Like, almost all the items you see around you are physics-oriented, where you can hit them and stuff. Porca puttana. Goddamn work. Bellini, I'm such a scumbag. Why didn't I learn this in school, cazzo? What about a consultation, maestro? I might like to try it. Uh, another nutcase? Mutant. Questo è un po' toccato. Bardium. Help! Ah, vai via, va! Psst. So far, I still haven't fired. Um, you are an... Normale? Bardium? No? Train up the spout? No? Yeah, intelligente. <laughs> hey, ascolta. Mutants, chicken, very, very cowardly. If someone screams at them properly, ah! They sometimes get frightened and run. Capish? Yeah, sure. I saw it. What you got here? Reckon. Nice thing. Perfetto. No hacker will turn his nose up at it. A recon like this, it opens all doors. Cameras, it messes up. Machines, it botches. And therefore, almost everything. You want to try it? Doors, there, come on. And what's behind those doors? An arsenal. Machine guns, cannons, lots and lots. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so this is a tool you'll uh, get to use after... Uh you get it basically, this is just a tutorial though. So you stare at the door, it decodes it, and then you could activate it even though it's all busted up. Alright, so then you can go in here, and there you go, some shotgun, some gatling. Can't open these though, they're, they're shut. Uh, if you want, you can try to squeeze your way. Like I said, everything's on a physics pretty much. You can squeeze your way into here try to get this little health go in here see what there actually is on some more herbardium but dead ends otherwise uh, as far as I can know you cannot open this uh, so yeah you're screwed on that part so you can go back out here thank you fine thing that'll come in handy I must go down there, you see, underground. I'm looking for a guy, a certain Warren Reynolds. Ah, Warren, si si, lucky guy. E fortunato quello. This figone, always with him. An amazing lady, this Livia. Bella donna, very beautiful. What happened to her? Livia's in orbit. She's waiting until I find Warren and another spaceship. Porco, you a ship? Here? Not at all, no ship. Not on Alpha. Otherwise, Paolo would be long gone. Vroom, 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 get the move on. Go away from here. Livia said... Nonsense. No ship anywhere. Perhaps Warren secretly hide Flotilia in his shoe. Is the only way. He has spaceship in his pocket. I'll have to start by finding Warren. I can't wait to hear the nice things he has to tell me. No, no, not that way. Sconjuro. Many, many mutants. Better to take lift than down. Nice and comfortable. Down... Down floor and empty passageway. You know a lot, eh? He'll certainly find the safest route for me. You know, Paolo no like shooting. Morbido. Uno body, due bodies, lots of bodies. Boom, bang, everywhere. Very nasty. Prefer Bellini to Tortellini. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know what? Since this is taking a little longer than I expected, I won't be doing another level. So, you won't get to learn what the Herbardium I've been collecting does. I'm sorry. If you want to learn, and uh, if you want more of this game, 
you have to request a let's play and then it'll go into the queue and I have everything organized by number of request and it's all magnificently sorted and it would get one if it needs it etc etc so till next time spin YBR I'll let this last cutscene go Never mind. I am a guide. Nobody nowhere. Let's go proudly on. Alright. Like I said, till next time, some YPR. See ya.